Hey everybody, this is Shanita. Welcome back to another video. I am here to, what am I gonna do this time? I think I'm going to show you my Allure beauty boxes. I told you guys about this months ago that I'd been subscribing to this beauty box from Allure. It is the first, it is the first subscription based um, product that I've bought and continued to get. I've signed up for several. I've ended up canceling them because I wasn't using the stuff and I wasn't very pleased with it. So um, this Allure Beauty Box comes and it has skincare, it has makeup, it has accessories, it has all kinds of th stuff in it. And you know how I feel about my natural black owned beauty products. But I'm, I'm aging you guys and though <laughs> the if I had started using um, natural beauty products from the beginning as a teenager early 20s at this point I'd say I would probably have had better results but I did not start taking care of my skin until much later on and at this point I need some stronger ingredients so I've decided to use more they're not necessarily high-end brands. I guess so. They're probably things I definitely wouldn't just go into a store and buy. But this beauty box has a lot, lot of reputable brands that have some skincare products in there. The box is like $24 a month. It completely pays for itself in two, most times one uh, product that's in there. And so I have received probably four of them since the last time I recorded. I have, I have three of them and I am really going to try to run through this. If you've not been here before, hey, thank you so much for stopping by. Um, we normally talk natural hair, beauty products. I show you what I've been getting, what I've been using, what I've been loving. And so um, I have three of these boxes, you guys, that I opened and went through because the curiosity kills me and I just had to see for myself what was in it but I have not removed a single solitary item because, actually there's a several reasons. M main reason is I still have so many products for my other boxes. I am still using products from these boxes every single day. I find something that I love, that I put in my every morning, every evening regimen, just gonna use it every single day. There's some things I use every now and then. I have probably only had one or two items that I just did not like, did not like. So right now I'm, I'm a little overstocked with these beauty boxes, but because they're items that I wouldn't normally pay this for these things. And they're so, so good. Like they are on right on that line of, um, high end and being natural you know all of them of course are not you know 100 percent things that we can pronounce or are familiar with but i'm comfortable with the amount of things in it that i do like so let's just get into this okay so here is i don't remember what month box this was you guys i know i didn't get one i'm trying to see what month it was I'm not sure. Maybe uh, Fatima would know. T ended up subscribing to these and um, I'm thinking we all got the same thing. I hope so. So if you recognize these Fatima, let me know what month this was. So the first item in here is Net Nativa Spa Embrace Yourself. This is a Nativa Spa starter kit. It comes with a body lotion, an ultra moisturizing, wait. Oh, this one is the last. Okay, it comes with four body lotions. I'm sorry. Uh, one is a Shea Ultra Moisturizing. One is a Quinoa Firming Rose Replenishing and Madagascar Vanilla Soothing. Well, this would have helped if I'd opened it, but this is how it comes. It just kind of came in this contain. Oh, I'm so curious about this. I'm going to have to open it. All right, you guys, I couldn't help myself. So this is kind of what they're like. They're one ounce lotions. And that one is the rosé. Very pretty. Very, very nice. I was trying to see if I could identify 
um, ingredients in it. I see a lot of them that I am familiar with, but this particular one says it's formulated with pure quinoa, omega-369 and vitamin E. A blend of roses and water binding hyaluronic acid works to leave the skin hydrated and radiant. So there's the rosé. And so they're all in the box like this. This is the Madagascar Vanilla. Oh, they're sealed so good. So in, each of these are sealed individually. So you'll just have to come back and see what these are like in an empties video. I am a butter girl. My skin is dry. Lotions just do not do it for me. Sometimes I can do it if I'm taking a shower really late at night and I need something to just moisturize my skin that is not going to be something that doesn't have to take forever to absorb inside my skin. So I will use uh, lotions for that. But otherwise, I am a butter girl and I have to use butter on my skin. So these are really, really pretty. I love the different containers. And along with these items they send a an allure beauty box for that particular month with all the items in it i love going in here and seeing how much these items cost on their own uh this particular uh item is actually 12 dollars. i'm surprised okay so that's 12 dollars for a set of four of those one ounce bottles that tell me already that lotion is not going to be enough but i'm grateful i'm going to use them here is pca skin rebalance daily moisturizer I've heard of this brand before I have never tried anything by it and it is it contains vitamin E borage seed oil evening primrose oil uh, they calm and soothe all skin types while providing powerful antioxidant protect protection provides lightweight hydration to keep skin soft and balanced I did not prepare to record this video. I just sat down and start talking, as you can see by things all over the place. So this one, let's see if I can open this one because this sounds like something I would use. It's not going to be enough for my skin, but sometimes with these really, really lightweight ones, I use sort of like a serum. I would use it as a base first and then use a thicker moisturizer on top oh that but that's kind of nice look at that I'm rubbing 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 oh that might be better than I thought oh wow I love the way that feels it has this silky soft feel to it and my hands are dry you talk about dehydrated and it just makes that look better it looks more supple so I like it. I thought that would be used in serum. I think this is actually moisturizer worthy. <laughs> so this may get its own little place in my moisturizing routine. I really like that. Have you guys tried anything about PCA? PCA skin. That's very nice. And it's 1.7 ounces. Doesn't sound like a lot, but one ounce with skincare products goes so far. Here's the La Roche Posay. A gentle foaming moisturizing wash. This is for dry and extremely dry skin. Here's a little trial size of this one. I know this is a very popular brand and a lot of dermatologists use it and a lot of them recommend it. So I will try that. Always, always love trying new gentle cleansers. And here is, this is called Mari Patch. This is micro point for dark spots. So you know how a lot of companies are coming out with those little pimple patches? If you get a pimple, you put the little patch on and um, it just really speeds up the uh, progress of the pimple so it can just heal and go away a lot faster. They really do work, by the way. Um, this one is a one for dark spots. So if you get a pimple or some sort of acne and now you've got some hyperpigmentation left, then this is supposed to even out the skin and brighten up that spot. So it comes with six different patches. It says visibly brightens post blemish marks. I haven't tried this, but I'm really interested to try it because I've really had some good luck with some of the uh, pimple patches. 
really i was really surprised by that so there's something about covering that up and just allowing it to to heal it's really good for the skin so um the Mighty patch um have you all used any of those not necessarily that brand because you know when one brand makes something and it works out you, you see a lot of bandwagon brands do it so i've never heard of Mighty patch here is a lipstick. It is long lasting liquid lipstick by Ofra. It's a nice neutral color anybody could wear. I love this tube. Pretty color too. It is called Canyon. Very nice. All right, so we've talked about the items in this. I'm dropping stuff everywhere. So the daily moisturizer that we talked about, the PCA skin, you guys, this retails for $53. 53 bucks for that 1.7 ounce of product. And like sometimes you can just tell when something has a little bit better ingredients. Like when I instantly put that on, I knew it was it was something special. It wasn't just what it looked like because the the containers just so blah. I Me mean, just black and white, nothing spectacular, but that's really nice. And it sells for 53 bucks. So that's that, uh, that Ofra liquid lipstick that I dropped $20 for that particular item. The Mighty Patch, $12.99 for the six patches. $12.99 for that. The La Roche Pose Cleanser. This is only a half an ounce just for trial, but the larger one sells for $14.99 for 13 and a half ounces. But I love this because it just gives you just enough to try a few times just to decide if you really like it. And so if you don't, no harm, no foul. Use the three and be done. Throw, throw away the container. But if you do, then you can go back and really invest in something that you really like and your skin really loved. And I've done that with plenty of these items. Um, I told you that these kit, the lotion kit was $12.99. Oh, and there's also, this is, this is just not working out today. So sad. Here is Manny Me. These are stick-on gel nails. Something else. I've seen something similar to this. Not quite, but they're literally stickers that you peel off and stick onto your nails. Interesting. Um, it says salon quality at home manicures in minutes. Who knows, this might actually be nice. I'll put them on, I've got them, why not? You know, I'll try it. Um, it says it has zero dry time, 10 free, vegan, cruelty free, 10 free. Oh, you get 10 extra ones free in the packet. And so if they're this pretty color as well. So I'll try that. I'll try it. I paid for it now. It's $15 for the entire standard size. So that is box, I don't know, March, April. That's what I got a few months ago. So let me grab the next one. Because I want to get this over with. I've been putting this off and not using my products. Trying to be sure I tell y'all about it. Y'all worse than my sisters. I'm telling you the truth. Okay, so this is obviously April's box. Like it's not even stamped by the post office to let me know what month it is. So same box. They come in the same exact box every single month. This particular one is full, you guys. Look at this. You cannot tell me this is not $24 worth of products. You get to try so, so many nice things. Okay, so we're going to run through this quick. This is by Solana, Solana MD. It's healthy base layer. It is a vitamin D enriched skin cream. And you know what? Let me just see if I can find the prices as I'm going through them. I just think that's fascinating. You guys may not think so and could care less what it costs, but I'd like to see what I'm getting and how much it would cost if I get it out the store. That way I feel like it was, it's worth the money, right? You guys, it's not even in here. That particular item is not in here. So 
We'll see. We'll see how it goes. It's a skin cream. I don't even know if it's a face cream or it's literally a hand cream. Oh, we and the writing on it is white and it is too light for me to read. But I bet one of you have heard of this brand. Solana, S-O-L-A-A-N-A, -A -A, which you cannot see. But anyway, it's a skin cream. It looks like it's about half an ounce as well. But I love this, this little tube here. It looks very sleek and elegant. The next item is by Christopher Robin. Christophe, there's not even an R on here. I just realized that. Christophe, Christophe Robin? Maybe? Uh, it's a daily hair cream with sandalwood. It's a moisturizing care, anti-split ends, anti-breakage. This is 3.4 ounces of hair cream. It doesn't look thick. It looks kind of, I don't know, like a medium consistency. It looks kind of lightweight. I bet it is lightweight. I have seen this brand in uh, TJ Maxx before. Very interesting. Uh, and it is, this particular one comes in 3.4 ounces. I can't imagine that this is not a full size. This probably, is it something I'm going to use? Uh, let's see. Water, uh, glycerin, apricot seed oil few other things I can't pronounce and don't know. Yeah, I'm not going to be using this. It has isoparaffin in there. And I know that that is a wax for a fact. It has cobramer, hydrolyzed wheat protein. It'll throw in some natural extracts here and there. But for the most part... I believe it's going to feel waxy and um, positive. I'm looking for a silicone on here. I don't see a word that I can identify as a silicone as it is, but I'm willing to bet there's something in here that acts like a silicone because that wax ingredient is too high up. So this is not something I'm going to wear. You know what, actually, it calls it a silicone free. Okay, so I, I, I stand corrected. The silicone free moisturizing hair cream. Enriched with apricot kernel oil, sandalwood, pulp, and barley seed extracts help fight against dryness and prevent the appearance of split ends and breakage. Light, non-sticky, and non-greasy. It hydrates the hair without weighing it down and protects against harmful external factors. I'm going to try it, you guys. I'm not going to try it on washed hair. I'll try it on some, <laughs> some dirty hair when it's close to wash time to just see how it goes. It might absorb into my skin and, and into my hair and actually feel good. Who knows? That's, again, that's the beauty of trying stuff. So I'm trying to see if that is in the little booklet. It is not. Let's go to something that is. This is Osei Essential Hydrating Oil. This is another big container got so many facial and skin oils it is ungodly this one is 1.6 ounces and i know this is for the skin nourishing blend of essential oils visibly plumps skin and reduces appearance of fine lines macadamia oils and jojoba deliver all day moisture for a glowing complexion this is pretty look at that i'm looking at anti-aging miracle any skin type Vegan, gluten-free, cruelty-free, osaymalibu.com. That's very nice. And so I don't see the ingredients on the, oh, yes, I do. This has macadamia oil right off the gate. This is the first five. Macadamia oil, sesame oil, jojoba oil, bergamot oil, and cedar leaf oil. And then, you know what? Everything in it is another kind of oil. There's chamomile, clara oil, geranium, cedar, peel, lemon peel oil. It is literally just a bunch of oils. Now this is exciting. This is something I could get away with um, putting on top of another lighter weight moisturizer, like something that's kind of serum-y consistency. Slapping a nice hydrating oil on top would be awesome. I would also try this as a body oil as well. I will use an oil on top of my body in a heartbeat. And this is 
$68 for this one ounce. And this is one ounce. 68 bucks for this bad boy. That's three times what I paid for the box for this one item. I love that. And that tells me that's going to be really good. I'm anxious to try it now. So here is Elta MD sunscreen. I used this for years before I'm using what I currently use now, that Black Girl sunscreen. But this is the one I used before Black Girl sunscreen, Elta MD. It is very sheer. This one is a broad spectrum SPF 50. Uh, it's a facial sunscreen, water resistant. I really like this one. It did not leave me ghostly and I just enjoyed it. It was very smooth. It went onto the skin very nicely. And I have to say every time I come across a sunscreen on this channel, please be wearing one every day. Please, please don't let anybody tell you you don't need sunscreen. Our skin needs protecting just as much and you might not need to apply it as often but i use a sunscreen every single solitary day and that's every season every day <laughs> so this particular one is uh is oil free and it is one ounce this one would be thirty dollars but not for the one ounce it comes in a 1.7 ounce and the 1.7 ounce would be $30. So, but this lasts so long, you only need a pea size amount. You know, a lot of times people apply um, sunscreens too heavy and that is the reason you get a, a ghostly cast. But this one really is sheer. Some of them say that and you still can tell a difference instantly when you put it on. That one really is. Here is called, here's Sunday Riley. This is a very well-known brand. It's called Five Stars Retinoid and Ni Niacinamide Eye Serum. So this is what you would put on your, oh God, my lighting. This is what you would put under your eyelids to try to keep them soft and hydrated and supple so that you don't suffer so much with the tired eyes, the swollen eyes, the dark eyes. Um, and you want something that's just going to continue to, you know, get rid of the fine lines so that, you know, you don't have a lot of sagging here. Just all those things that make you look older faster. So Sunday Riley, you probably have all heard of them. Very, very reputable brand. This is 0.5 ounces. It's in a mighty big bottle for <laughs> half an ounce. But that is five ounces. I completely trust this. I've tried enough things by Sunday Riley that I really like. And no doubt about it, I'm going to use this. It calls it a hydrating gel serum. Infuses high strength retinoids into the skin to plump and smooth the look of eye wrinkles and crow's feet. While also being clinically proven as gentle to the eye area. Combining a 6% retinol blend and the bioactive components of Centella Acetica. Y'all, what's this? A, it looks like Asia and then the word T-I-C-A on the end. Asia Tiki. Asia Tiki. I don't know what that is. I've never heard of that. Anyway, it supports natural collagen production. So, let's see what it looks like. See, now I'm saving all my stuff to show y'all. Now I got too many things to try at one time. Too many. So it is just a little tube. I'm not going to get into all of that. I really want to record all of these. I'll start doing the monthly and doing a little bit more of a um, extensive review talking about them in going forward. But for right now, I'm, I'm going retroactively and I'm just giving you everything I got so I can start using it. I don't see that in the um, little booklet as well. Here is Liquid Glow by St. Lux. Don't know what that means. It says rose gold on the side. And it is, oh, that's pretty. Look at that. Looks like that would make a gorgeous nail polish. I don't know what it is, you guys. It is a shimmering rose gold shade. It happens to be the fastest route to a soft, pretty glow this season. The fact that it's a liquid highlighter, oh, it's a highlighter. Means it is easy to blend and looks all the more natural. The doe foot applicator makes highlighting a cinch 
and the shimmering flecks inside are so small that it looks super subtle on the skin. God, that's gorgeous. Look at that. Love that. And this is $24. This particular size, this very item is $24. So that's exactly what I paid for the box is what you're going to get. And the person on here says you can wear it under foundation or as a tinted moisturizer from a lit from within glow. That is very pretty. I like that a lot. Okay, here is Saturday Skin. This is Rub-A-Dub Refining Peel Gel. So here's one of those. I would liken this to a face mask. One of those gels that you just rub all over and let it sit and harden and then peel off. That is what this is. And Saturday Skin is another brand I'd never heard of before. It says it's packed with papaya and bromelain to help remove impurities. Love that. Cleanse and then pat your face. Gently apply to the skin and rub in a circular motion for one minute. Rinse clean, rinse clean with warm water. Maybe used once or twice a week. Oh, so that's not a peel. When I think of a peel gel, I think about something you put on, let harden, and peel off. This sounds more like a, just a scrub. You put on and rub in a circular motion for one minute and then rinse off. This sounds like a scrub to me. So I'm interested to see what this consistency is like. Nothing about that gave me the indication that it might be some sort of exfoliator. But we'll see. I'm going to try it. Uh, then there's another item. I think they just threw stuff in here at this point. This one is called Instant Brights Eye Mask by Skin Medica. And these are two single-use eye masks. It says for instant bright, uh, instant bright eye mask. Need a quick pick-me-up. These cooling gel patches soothe and hydrate the under area for an instant refresh. There's a unique hydro gel technology. Reduces the appearance of puffiness to help eyes look youthful and rested. So they threw that in there. And then there is Neogen is the brand. This is Real Ferment Micro Essence. I'm waiting for my eyes to adjust from that light. I can't tell what this is. It says, It looks like a toner to me. It's, I've seen some toners in this sort of, um, that looks just like this, this sort of bottle. It has that same look about it. I could be totally wrong. Let me see if it's in the book. They need to help me because I don't know. Okay, so it is, although it looks like water and feels like it on skin this k beauty essence is a potent prep step for hydrated smoother complexion essences are beloved in korea for boosting radiance and this particular one is spiked with buzzy fermented skin care ingredients rice and yeast to soothe and nourish skin brightening niacinamide and common allotonin round out this powerhouse formula Sprinkle the essence into your hand and then pat it onto skin before following up with the rest of your skincare routine. Again, I would use it when I use a toner. I would wash my face and then take this and just kind of pat into your skin afterwards. Still sounds like a toner to me. It did not use the word toner, but that is when I would use it immediately after uh, washing and patting dry. So that is that, and that is $38. The $38 one is a five ounce, and this is likely like a half an ounce. So that is another interesting item. And last thing I got in here, you guys, was, y'all know I don't do makeup like that. And what little bit I used to do, I don't even do that now. It's just too hot to even say the word makeup. Base Blue Mini Air Sponges. So I've got two of these. It's technically a makeup blender, but this tiny teardrop feels like velvet. The pointed end is perfect for placing concealer in tiny crevices like around your eyes and the rounded side blends foundation with ease. So I've got two of those and the two, they come in a set of six for $17. I love these containers. Look at that. 
and it says it feels like velvet. It almost looks like velvet. I could totally believe that. Those are very nice. So I'll probably go back to using that at some point when I start back wearing makeup. Uh, the Saturday skin item, you guys, is $28. I don't feel like I said that, but this is $28. Bucks. And the $28 bucks is for, yes, this exact item. This is an, a full-size one. So that is that one. Woo! I got some stuff I can try now. So last one. Last one. Okay, here's the last one. And I'm gonna <laughs> pour this one out because it opened a little differently. The others opened from the front. This one opened from the side. So everything just kind of pours out. I literally just got this one in the mail uh, today, today. So that's what made me think, I gotta start using these. I've got too many in reserve. Here is, and I don't, I literally just peeked at them to see what they were. This is Probiotics, probiotic Superfoods. It's so polished exfoliating sugar scrub. Oh, that's exciting. I love a good exfoliator. The brand is Trula Skincare. This is 2.9 ounces. And it says it has sugar crystals and pina colada scent making the radiance boosting scrub a joy to use. I love, love, love a good sugar scrub. So I am thrilled about that. And this particular one is a full size one at 2.9 ounces, sales for $32. Then there's this, I need my glasses y'all. I don't know why I keep trying to do this. This is by Biosense. Squalene and Omega Repair Cream. Ooh, that sounds exotic. I love this. The description on this, it just, it looks very classy and just very, it looks expensive. The words on it, it's very, the marketing department did a very good job on this. Face cream that deeply moisturizes skin. Dermatologist tested, ophthalmologist tested, non-commodogenic for all skin types, including sensitive skin. Apply the skin morning and night. Uh, there's water, squalene, glycerin, shea butter, capric triglycerides, ceramides, jojoba esters, hyaluronic acid. Oh, this has got some lot of goodies in it. Lots and lots of goodies. I got a feeling I'm gonna like this. Uh, this is only a half an ounce. I'll have to. See what that costs. Watch that ends up being something I really like. Oh, Jesus. Okay. This is a half an ounce. The full size container is 1.6 ounces and that 1.6 ounces sells for $58. Anybody use this brand before? You know I haven't. I don't know. Okay, next item is by Esker Beneficial Body Care. This is a firming oil. Another very pretty box. It says juniper, palmarosa, lavender, rose geranium, and grapefruit. Well, that doesn't help. Let's see. It is, summer is the best time of year for body oils. And this particular blend of Rose geranium, grapeseed, lavender, and juniper oils deliver skin that's deeply hydrated and glowing all day long. The fresh floral citrusy scent is energizing and pairs well with most summer fragrances. And it says to just massage it into your skin after a shower. When skin is just slightly damp, it can get to work faster. A little bit on your limbs, shoulders, and ash prone areas delivers a goddess-like glow. Ooh, this sounds good. I bet it smells good too. Uh-uh, too literary. I'm not doing that. Look at that. So if you're interested in this one, let me know. This is 20 milliliters. I don't, how many ounces is that, y'all? I like dealing with ounces. I can't tell. Uh, 20 milliliters is two ounces. And the, this is a full-size container. So this two ounces costs $40. Let's 
Yikes. Let's see what it looks like. I love this container. It's very nice. Oh, 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 I like that. Smells so good. Oh, that smells so good. Look at the oil. It looks just lightweight. It smells amazing. It's like a citrusy geranium. I can smell the geranium. I can smell a little citrus too. That smells fantastic. I bet it has all kinds of amazing oils in it. So I will tell you about that a little later. And also I've got a perfume sample from Good Fortune by Victor Roth. Something else I don't do a lot of. I just feel like, you know what? It's too hot. <laughs> it's too hot to put anything extra on my skin. I sweat too bad to be worried about any other scents. I just need to, I just want to stay clean. That's all. That's it. Okay, and this is, I don't have any information about this whatsoever. It is a 0 0.04 fluid ounce. Victor and Rolf, if you've heard of any of that. Sometimes, oh, you can get a whiff of it through the package. I think that's going to smell good. I think it will. We'll see how that goes. And here is a magnetic eyeliner. Because it came with this month, a magnetic eyeliner and lashes. And lashes. The brand is called Magnitude. Anybody heard of these? I know these are full size. Those lashes are gorgeous. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. I like those. They're not too much, not too little. And so here's the magnetic eyeliner that goes with it. Nice full size. Let's see what this is about that. There's no sticky or lumpy lash glue here. These magnetically charged falsies adhere to the accompanying magnetic liquid eyeliner and amazingly, they stay in place all day. The lashes have just enough oomph to make your own look believably fuller and the liner is sleek with a soft, pretty sheen. Oh, that's exciting. That is very exciting. So we'll see these and the set for the eyelashes and the eyeliner is $55. So I'd never heard of Magnitude either. If you want to follow some of these brands and you're interested in what I'm saying, because they will very likely not be in the description box, because I'm not going to have time to put all that there. If you ask me about it, I'll still hang on to these and I will certainly give you the uh, names of the brands if you are interested. Just ask me about the one you want to know. I'll be thrilled to inform you. Okay, and here is Tint. This is a clear brow gel. So once you fill in your eyebrows, you use this clear gel on top to just kind of keep that brow looking nice and full all day. It says a few swipes of this gel is just a thing for setting and shaping brows after you fill them in, which in turn can make brows look fuller. It also works wonders on its own because it's transparent. It can make your brows look thicker without seeming drawn on. And you never have to wonder if you found the right shade. I love that. So this is pretty. This is $14. Yeah, and this is a full size. I'm going to pull it out. It's in there really good. Oh, I'm getting mad now. This makes no sense. I'm trying to think what I have in here that I can use to pry it out. It is exactly the diameter of this box. I mean, they fit in perfectly together. They left no extra space in here whatsoever. Like my son say, now it's just about the principle. All right, I got it. <laughs> all right, all of that, and there's still nothing to see. So I thought it would be. Y'all, I'm tired of fighting with this mess. I'm done. I'm done. I give. It wins. 
So here's what the container looked like. I thought we'd be able to see the clear gel through the container. I'm putting it halfway back in there. I'm not, I'm not doing that again. That was terrible. Okay, and then here is Sephora's Clean Skin Gel. So here is a Sephora brand gel cleanser. A sample of that. Just a small amount, just enough for you to tell if you might like it or not. I just kind of judge these based on just how they feel and then how my face feels as I'm rinsing it off. It says usually facial cleansers are gentle or they take off your makeup, but this gel formula is the best of both worlds. It easily removes a full face of makeup and mascara included without any scrubbing, tugging at lashes or post cleanse cleanup required. It's silky aloe infused formula also leaves skin softer, clearer, and soothes. It's helped clear redness and dry patches with continuous uses and it's made a world of difference in the feel of my skin says Gutierrez, whoever that is. With results like these, you won't want to skip a facial cleanse. So we'll try that. Sephora's products are kind of hit or miss, but a cleanser, yeah, can't go wrong with that, at least not trying it. That uh, cleanser by Sephora is $12. And I think we hit everything. Oh, the tint that caused me so much grief, $14 for the clear brow gel. So, okay guys, that's it. That is it. That is everything that is in here. Those are the last three beauty boxes that I have gotten. I used to have a little link where you could um, get a discount on some. I don't think they have that anymore because they did sort of a shutdown reopening sort of thing over the summer where they just kind of closed up shops, kind of redid some things and they skipped a box or two actually. And so now they just started back up doing these, but it's so, so worth the money. And it doesn't benefit me at all. I just love being able to try higher brand items that I wouldn't typically go into a store and buy. I love being able to just, you you know me, you know I love trying this stuff. So um, I found some really gems with these and they are products that I use from this, from the uh, different brands that I get from these boxes every day. That is now my exclusive um, skincare routine. I use products from these brands. I just don't have as good as much good luck with the natural brands with my skin as I do with my hair. So I try to be careful not to use stuff that's just too chemically that sounds so much like it literally just got whipped up in a lab. I mean, all of this did, but I, I do like being able to see and pronounce and know what some of the ingredients are. So that is it. I will put the link so that you can go and subscribe to your own Allure Beauty Box. It seems like they, they come every month, but it seems like the times are so close together. Sometimes I look up and I'm like, it's time for another one? And so, um, yeah, it's just a great way to try some new things. And I think it will encourage you to start taking care of your skin. If you're not as... Uh, consistent about it now you know spending your money for it and being able to try things and especially having some nicer more expensive things that you would not have bought it just makes you it makes me curious and I always want to try it and I have found a lot of things that I've loved a lot of the um, items that have been in prior boxes I've rebought and so that's, that's how great I feel like this experience has been. So the links will be in the description box if you're interested in getting your own beauty box. I hope that you will um, do that and find some things that are fun for you to try. And you'll be seeing a lot of these in my empties. That way, that'll be the true test, right? What of it do I finish? And then what do I think about it? Because they're so small, you know, it can go through it a lot faster. So you get the picture, you get the point. If you have any questions, then you can certainly put those down in the comments box and we can chat down there a little later. If any of you got this box after I mentioned it the first time, let me know, except Fatima, I know she did. Um, a couple of people asked me about it. So I'm curious to know if you got it, if you're using it and what you think about it. And the rest of you, you can just kind of read through the comments and see what other people have to say about it. You don't have to take my you know thoughts about this and there are tons of other people who use the, the um, use the items and so you can see those on youtube as well all right you guys that's it i will see you in the next video you guys take care bye